hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see useful database related cli commands in odoo version 17 and in case you missed previous discussion about how to disable database manager in odoo version 17 please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo development and here you can see different types of playlists available with the different topic wise with the real test cases if you didn't subscribe this channel guys please subscribe so it will help me a lot and let's go to our main topic the useful database related cli commands so first i will stop the service i will remove all the this command and i'm going to use here dash desk help and here you can see this is the database related command cli commands right so if you guys remember we already used minus r and minus d right so minus r is the database user and minus w means the database password if you guys remember the first session about how to set up odoo in the any of the operating system so first thing is we have to also install the postgres right and in the postgres we have to also create one owner i mean the user profile right and that user profile we can use as a db user and whatsoever the password we use right so we can use here the db underscore password so in the shortcut way we can use minus r and minus w let me show you so let's say i'm using minus r as a web lens and minus w as a web lens right and once i will go to here and refresh the screen it's working fine let's say if i will use here one two three as a password and username as a one two three right after you can see uh, you can see here it's giving throwing me the exception the fail the role one two three does not exist and once i'm going to here in the front end and refresh the screen by default it will redirect to this page and if you see here in the back end side the connection to the database failed right it's having like this right so here let's say i'm trying to create here let's say abc 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 so you can see here the database creation error right the role one two three does not exist right so here in this case we can use weblands minus w password as a weblands after that let's say we are trying to just refresh the screen right let's say instead of this create we can just use here the manage and once i will go to here and add the master password after that let's say odoo 17 test 2 and now it will create the that database you can see here once this process is done you can see here you can see it will redirect automatically into the odoo 17 test 2 right and once i click here you can see two databases available one is odoo 17 test and one we recently created this one and once we manage the database right click to that button option so you can see either i have to delete the duplicate or backup like this another thing is let's say i want to use only the specific database right so odoo 17 underscore test not this test too right once i will st start the service refresh the screen you can see that database automatically hide so minus d right this is for that these two minus r and minus w if we open the configuration file You can see here database name 
and the database password so database password at the moment is not available but let's say i will add here db password equal to weblands right and here this db name i will use here let's say odo 17 test 2 now I'm using, I'm managing everything in the my configuration file. So only I'm using minus C as a one CLI command and that specific file and all the configuration related stuff I'm trying to update here. And make sure you can save also, restart the service. And once you refresh the screen, you can see now it's update as a Odoo 17 task to Y because we change in the db name this is the cli command and this is the cli values right let's say uh, there is also one more thing is uh, you also have uh, some default port numbers right we are using here odoo in a 8099 service the port number right so there is also possible you are also using a different port number for the postgres so for that you can just use here that default port number so by default port number is 5432 right but what happened in odoo is odoo knows the default part, port number of the postgres so here i'm just it's passing is a false right if your database the postgres configuration is the ssl board is prefer so by default it's a prefer right it's not the ssl so you can also use here the accordingly by default it's a prefer and by default the database template right you can use your own database here that db template right so what happened while you create a new database right from the odoo side so it will use this template to create the new database then after the maximum connection right like the maximum connection is 64 at the moment you can also increase by default it's a 64 so this is the basic database command right you have to remember you have to remember only hardly one the minus d the database name you have to mention minus r is for the database user and minus w is that database user password okay so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how you can configure odoo 17 in pycharm so see you there